My Sunday routines are all about preparing my kids for the school week. I'm really excited to be showing you guys all the things that I do to prepare my children for the school week. Every day has a purpose and that's how I'm able to accomplish everything. If I ran around with my head cut off doing a million different tasks throughout the day, I would never get anything done. I'd never finish anything. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly what I do every single Sunday to prepare my kids for the school week. Before I get started showing you guys everything that I do on Sundays, today's video is a collaboration with my very best friend in real life. Not to say that you guys are not my real friends, but she is actually my friend in real life, my best friend, the one that I talk to and tell everything to, and it's just awesome that we are both YouTubers, so we're able to bond and share that passion for our creativity and making video content. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know her, but if you do not know her, her name is Tiffany, and she has two gorgeous children, Aria and Ezra. She's married to Eric, and they live close by, and she's my best friend. I love her channel because she is so inspiring to women with the fitness and health journey and everything postpartum and mommy. I just love her. She's super real and my favorites are just her day in the lives. Like her doing all the things that she does to take care of her babies, her household and all the errands and cleaning and such. When you guys are done watching my Sunday routine, go ahead and hop over to Tiffany's channel. The link is down below. All of her links, her Instagram, everything. Add her, subscribe to her, let her know that her bestie sent you. You guys have been so supportive to me and I would just really appreciate it if you can go over there and show her some love as well. So let's get started on everything that I do to prepare my kids for the week. Here is our Sunday routine. With four in elementary school, school lunches can be kind of daunting, so I try to do as much preparation with some healthy foods as much as possible, so I can just scoop some healthy fruits or vegetables into a bento box, into a baggie, or whatever. So for me, having some healthy options on hand just makes it a lot more easier to pack healthy lunches for my kids. But I decided to do the fruit first thing in the morning because my kids were um, going to be having some burgers for lunch, so I wanted to make sure I had some healthy options to put on the side of their lunch. But usually I do my food prep more in the evening after I've done like all the cleaning and preparing and things like that. You'll see later on in the evening that I did some breakfast prep. So I usually trade off between breakfast or lunch prep and this particular week I did some breakfast prep. So you'll see later on what I chose to make this day. We don't have a mudroom in my house so we do have this little cubby sectional thing in front of the front door which is kind of like our dump zone. All the kids hang their backpacks, jackets, and then in the baskets below are their school shoes and such. These are the things that my kids use every single day and it can get cluttered pretty quick. So every single Sunday I take the time to really declutter everything, throw things in the wash, spray it and wipe everything down and make sure it's nice and sanitary. <laughs> my daughter's singing in the background <laughs> anyways make sure everything is nice and sanitized and ready to go for the <laughs> for the new school week
In a previous video, someone asked me where I store the rest of my kids' shoes. So I wanted to touch bases on that real quick because organization is super important. When you have a large family, things can get out of control really quickly. I have these bins, the white ones. I just got them at the dollar store. This is what I keep their everyday school or play shoes in. And then you'll see my girls also have like black boots and Jordans and all different kinds of different styles for different occasions and such. I keep those elsewhere. So the weekend is right now. So naturally we went out to dinner and they wore like a little bit nicer shoes. So that's why those are there. So this is a perfect reason of why on every Sunday I go through the shoes and just kind of reorganize them again. I will take half of these shoes back upstairs to their closet and then the play shoes will remain in the cubbies. That's just kind of how we do things. We keep all of our nicer weekend shoes upstairs and I'll have to show you guys that later in the video and their play shoes downstairs. With five kids and tons of shoes, things get out of control really quickly and I only want the play shoes and school shoes accessible so that they can easily put them on and I'm not asking them to take off their nice Sunday shoes and put their play shoes back on before they go out to play. I will keep any type of sports shoe that they have going on up above. Like my son's about to start football and so he's got his football cleats up there. The girls are not currently in dance for the next couple months. They are free so I just went ahead and put their matching black shiny boots up there because I thought it looked cute. But that's where we keep all of our sports stuff accessible or if they have you know, a mouthpiece or gloves, things like that. I will just stuff it in their shoes. So as far as dress shoes go, I have a bin upstairs in the girls' closet where I put everyone's dress shoes so that when we're getting dressed for an event or Easter or Christmas or anything like that, I can just pull the dress shoe bin down. Everyone can grab them and then when we're done, we can throw them back in the bin and put them upstairs. There's nothing more that I hate than going and trying to get the girls ready and having them looking forever and not being able to find one of their shoes with four girls things can get out of hand pretty quickly every single Sunday I wash my kids backpacks and a lunch boxes especially in the winter I feel like during the summertime I can get away with doing it every two weeks but during the winter I definitely want to wash them every single week Washing and sanitizing their backpacks and lunch boxes every single week just helps me feel better about, you know, sending them to school clean and healthy and just getting rid of all those yucky germs that are around the schools. It's gross. <laughs> One of the most important things I do for my kids to get them ready for the week is to go ahead and lay out their clothes for the entire week. I got these organizers, I believe at Walmart or Target, one of those, but I'll go ahead and link a cute one that I found on Amazon down below. They're super affordable. I think I got these for only seven or eight dollars and I have two girls share one of these organization dividers. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then there's an actually an extra shelf down below that I put their pajamas for the week. It really helps them learn to be responsible and independent and get ready on their own in the morning. So they know as soon as they get up, they have to make their bed and head on into their closet and get their clothes for the week, get themselves dressed, and then head on into the bathroom to get their teeth brushed. So even if I'm not in the room with them, telling them exactly what they need to do, they know that it's their responsibility to go get their own outfit and get themselves dressed. After I get their clothes ready, I will head downstairs and put the backpacks and lunch boxes back where they belong, getting ready for the week. Now that they're nice and clean, I feel much better sending them to school with germ-free backpacks. Then I'm gonna head into the kitchen and just do a little meal prep. Every Sunday, I prep something for the week, and this time I'm gonna do some breakfast. Sometimes I do a bunch of sandwiches that I throw in the freezer for easy lunches or sometimes I put together some breakfast burritos or sausage McMuffins, things like that. But this time I'm just going to do some scrambled eggs and some sausages so I can heat it up pretty quickly in the microwave for a quick hot breakfast for them. I have hot breakfast options but I also have cereal, fruit, yogurt, 
waffles I can toast, you know, different variety of things so the kids can pick exactly what they want, if they want something cold or if they want something hot for that breakfast. I like having options. It just really avoids the fights in the morning when kids are like, I want that or I want that. I'm like, whatever, go in the fridge, go in the freezer, get what you want and fix it yourself. <laughs> My kids love juice, but let's face it, juices are so sugary. They take up space in your refrigerator and, you know, I mean, might as well save some money here. So I always get the Crystal Light or no sugar juice packets that store really easily and don't take up any space. I fill a jug of water. I put in some of that sugar-free powder, mix it up, throw it in my fridge, and that's what the kids are going to drink every single day. We go through one of these jugs every single day, and I even do cut it down even even more with a water ratio of half and juice half as well. So this just really helps save on money, helping them drink something a little bit healthier and still feel like it's a treat and saving room in my fridge. By this time, it's around four or five o'clock and it's time to get the kids into the bathtubs. I have each of my kids separately take like a luxurious bath on Sundays. I feel like mommy needs reset with baths and I figure, you know what, my kids need resets too. They really enjoy bath bombs and bubbles and just relaxing in the bathtub. I sit with them each and just kind of talk about their day, talk about their week, talk about goals for the week and what's going on, what sports stuff happening, what movies coming out. I really try to take the time to not only prepare my kids for the week physically but mentally as well and just spend that quality time with them and as soon as all five kids are out of the bathtub and nice and moisturized in their pajamas and their teeth are brushed I will go ahead and start one of the girl's hair. Um, I usually trade off. It's Elia's week. Avea has cornrows in her hair that should last a couple more weeks. So it is Elia's turn to get her hair done. I always do a fresh new protective style every single Sunday. So I went ahead and did a quick co-wash, massage her scalp with some coconut oil, put some leave-in conditioner, and just did a quick twist up protective style with some cute beads and now I'm going to go ahead and put her satin scarf over it to make sure that it locks in all the moisture and it protects the style so it's nice and neat and fresh on her morning at school. Each of my girls wear a satin scarf at night and they also have satin pillowcases. But that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed my Sunday routine and all the things that I do to prepare my kids for the school week. Go ahead and head over to my best friend Tiffany's channel now. Let her know that her besties sent you. I really appreciate you guys' support and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>